my closest advisor is my wife. Facebook executive Sheryl Sandberg called him her best friend and the love of her life. I have an awesome husband. We Good. are so at 50 50. No, we are at 50 50. But the life of her other half, Survey Monkey CEO David Goldberg, was cut short by what Mexican authorities say was a freak accident at the gym, resulting in severe head trauma. The family checked into the exclusive Villa Palma Sola Hotel near the Mexican resort town of Puerto Vallarta last Thursday, according to the state attorney general. A day later, authorities say Goldberg was exercising on a treadmill when he slipped, fell, and hit the back right side of his head, creating a three-centimeter gash. People can have fairly small external injuries, especially to the skull and to the, to the scalp, and that can bleed quite significantly, and it also indicates that there's some type of internal injury to the brain. Investigators say Goldberg went to the gym at about 4 p.m. His brother Robert found him on the floor in a pool of blood two and a half hours later. He was still alive. His brother called for help, but by the time the Silicon Valley exec got to the hospital, it was too late. He was pronounced dead, according to the attorney general spokesperson. The timing is absolutely important, and uh, studies have shown that repeatedly. Uh, you have to get these patients to the hospital, to the well-equipped and to the right hospital as quickly as possible. Goldberg's sudden death has shocked many around the country, including President Obama, who took to Facebook saying in part, David Goldberg embodied the definition of a real leader, someone who was always looking for ways to empower others. We're heartbroken by him leaving us far too soon. The woman known for leaning in has not made a public comment, only responding to President Obama on Facebook. Thank you, President Barack Obama, for this beautiful tribute and for your friendship to our family. Dave Goldberg admired you for your leadership, passion, and your deep love of sports. Now about the investigation, the state attorney general telling me this afternoon that an autopsy was performed, that foul play was not found, and that it was pretty much deemed an accident, and that the family didn't ask for further investigation.